acknowledge someone who's um, joining us this year, who's a staple in BTAC. Um, they've been a part of the conference and a part of the organization since conception. Uh, a constant supporter uh, of not only the community in BTA, but also of our next keynote speaker. Uh, this young lady also created the No More Bodies project that we do each year, honoring our lost loved ones. Um, if you will, please join me in the to Ms. Janelle Gordon. We love you, Janelle. Thank you so much. So as I stated, Ms. Coleman is the wife of our next keynote speaker. <laughs> Who is Mr. Van Milhouse? Van Michael Milhouse is a founding member of Black Trans Men Inc. or BTMI, the first national nonprofit organization of Black and African American trans men focused on acknowledgement, social advocacy, and empowering trans men with resources to aid in a healthy female to male transition. He's an active board member serving as the chair of Black Trans Men Inc., working to secure national visibility and outreach programming for Black Trans Men. Van has previously served as the president of our Black Trans Men Inc. Maryland, D.C. chapter uh, from conception 2011 until 2016. He's also the first to be awarded the Distinguished Black Trans Men Inc. Man of the Year Award in the year of 2013. Ben is a public speaker, writer, poet, and has been involved in activism on the forefront for the needs of the community in the area of mental health, public safety, and economic justice. Nurturing is the primary focus for Ben, emphasizing the need of community and personal development as a key factor in liberating black trans men. Ben is also a graduate of Morgan State University, earning a bachelor's degree of science. I'm sorry, a bachelor's of science degree. And if I could just add um, from my personal knowledge, this is, his bio is very limited. Uh, ben is so much. He is Black Trans Man Inc. He um, is one of the, the, the you may as well say one of the co-founders loosely of Black Trans Men Inc. in developing our actual visibility and developing our presence in the community and in uh, the media and abroad. Um, then he shows up wherever he's needed, whether it be talking to the FBI or if it needs to be talking to a young man in the late hours of the morning who's struggling. Anyone you ask about Van will say he's more than these things that we name, such as um, an educated man and a mentor. Man is also a phenomenal husband. He's an amazing father. He's my best brother. And I am I'm very excited and honored to have Mr. Van, Mil Van Milhouse as our keynote speaker. Please welcome him. Good afternoon and welcome to BTAC 2017. Thank you, DD. Thank you, DD, for those moments. Thank you all for uh, turning up the change and getting here. It's very important that we get here, right? And I know sometimes it's difficult for us to get here. So I thank you, each and every one of you, for taking time out of your schedule, taking money out of your budget, and doing what you have to do to be here. It's very, very important because what I see in this room, I know that there are 10 times more folk out here that need to be here and see this, right, and feel this. So, one of the things, let me get this together on this phone, I'm trying a new thing, like reading off the phone. <laughs> Pardon me. But what the message, uh, to this theme of this particular conference is legacy, right? Lotus, loving ourselves uh, I forgot, was it? Loving ourselves through an ultimate service. I got it, right? <laughs> so, I went to the dictionary, Miriam Dictionary, right? Now look at the word legacy. The definition stated, legacy. Something, 
transmitted by or received from an ancestor or a predecessor or from the past. That is the overarching theme of this particular conference in the sixth year. Think about it. This is just a simple definition from the dictionary. We're talking about something that is transmitted by, received from, what? Ancestor, predecessor, or from the past. So if there's anybody in this room that had any doubt about who you are and where you're from, you've been here. You come from legacy. You come from a legacy that they're just now trying to find in Western terms. But in Eastern terms, we've been here. So you need to understand this theme of legacy in the sixth year is very important to understand. You being here is not about coincidence. There are a lot of new faces here. This is freshness. We're in the year of 2017. Seven and one is eight. That's infinity. Legacy. You understand? So that's the first piece I need to bring as far as the message in this particular conference. So as we move on, we're going to look at the, the, the etymology of the word legacy, right? So we look at legate in English. The, the definition there is the messenger, an envoy, a delegate. That is you. But if we take it back to medieval Latin, we have the word legatus, a person that is delegated. You were delegated. And as we develop into who we are, we realize our truest nature, you will understand how you have been delegated in your legacy. Because we all have a personal legacy. So again, that is the overarching theme to this particular conference. And I don't want you to forget it, so I'm going to keep repeating it. Because as we leave here, we will be faced with these systems that we all know about too well. And they will tell you otherwise. They will tell you that this is the Duke thing, that this thing does not exist, right? You've made a mistake, your mistake. So I'm here to let you know that in 2017, we're letting you know that you extend from legacy. We are connected. Because the definition said something transmitted. What is the something? What is the thing that's being transmitted? What is that? You have come through here on this plane at this day and time. Because the tide is changing. So it is a critical moment for you all to understand that who you are is necessary in writing. In writing. We're talking justice and righteousness. So this is important for you to understand regarding your legacy. And it is from your ancestor, your predecessor, from the past. You are delegated to bring these things through. So as you sit in these different spaces when you leave here, I need you to understand, as Sister Dee Dee said, you have been ordained. So you were right in it, right? Because we're spiritual beings. Period, point blank. In a fleshly form. So as we move into the second part of this particular conference, right? Lotus. That's a two-fold piece. So we have the plant, the water lily, lotus. And then we also have the acronym that we're using. Loving ourselves through. That's right. We're going to stop right there. Loving ourselves through. Ultimate service. So I got to say, that's threefold. That was a manifestation right there. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So how do we love ourselves through ultimate service? Well, who are we in service to? That's important. Each other. Each other. When we look at being service to each other, we also need to be mindful of being in service to our selfish self, right? And getting needs met through service, and really being a part of ultimate service. Because in loving ourselves through the ultimate service, I begin to heal. So let's look at Lotus. The plant. They say it emerges out of murky water. That's what they tell you, it's murky. 
It's not a good thing. Don't say I'm too good to it. But see, that's for those who have a perception that is unclear about their legacy. Right? How can you say that I emerged out of murkiness? That's because you don't possess the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding of my legacy. Right? When I understand that, I just see that it is just water that is unclear to you because it is to protect me. It is to protect you. Right? And out of this water becomes the water lily. One of the most powerful plants on the world. On the world. A friend of mine was telling me today this plant uh, does a simultaneously cause and effect at the same time. That's amazing. We can do that. That is your legacy. And so, I also wanted to bring a point about this particular conference about legacy and lotus and loving ourselves through service. And understanding that as we convene in the personal spaces, what is happening here are lotus. Right? But did you know that the lotus at night closes and goes under water? Okay? That is what we will do when we leave back VTAC 2017. Because we have to protect ourselves. And we also are replenished and cleansed through water. Because as we move forward, these systems will get you. So you have to remember who you are in service to. If you find yourself being in service to yourself, reach out. Check yourself. Be accountable. If you cannot do it on your own, because you have to grow that way. Call on somebody. Understand how to approach one another in an agreeable manner. So those are some of the things that I wanted to bring about regarding this, this particular uh, conference, the theme, and then the breakdown of Lotus and loving ourselves through. So how can we access this legacy? How can we continue to create it? It's through things like this, BTAC, BTWI, BTMI. And a piece of this is, I wanted to also speak to my brothers in particular. We are faced with a critical set of circumstances. Some of us are unaware of how critical it is. Sister Didi spoke of suicide, depression. How does that show up in our community for trans men? We need to begin to examine that wholeheartedly. There are too many times that I'm getting phone calls or seeing on Facebook about us suffering, right? And it's not always a very direct manner. So we have to be, this thing is insidious, right? It's called, I'm going to go head on and not eat right, right? No, I'm a diabetic. What is it I need to tap that, right? It doesn't seem like a big deal, but it hinders me from being the best of me. It hinders me from getting access to the hormones that I choose to take. Right? We have to understand that our health is important. Our mental health, our emotional health, our physical health, and our spiritual health. Mm -hmm. Outside of the gyms, we need to go in. We need to speak about what the atrocities have been committed against our bodies. We're talking from zero to 12. When she, him, and they touched me. We're talking about the rapes that happen. As youngsters, you're told to keep on moving. We're talking about I have to keep on moving and still take care of my family, right? We're talking about I now physically transition and you see me as the man I've always been, but now you don't want to acknowledge me, but you loved it when I showed up for you before. Those are the things that we have to talk about as black trans men. We have to begin to discuss what it feels like, why wouldn't you hit that block like that? Because I used to get high like that. I'm telling you, what was going on? And I'm all for medicinal purposes, right? But it's different when I'm doing it and my life is off, because that's me, right? That's different, right? I need to talk about what it feels like when I have microaggressions in the room. I have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I speak very well. But the teacher tells me, oh, you're well-spoken. I need to be able to raise my voice in the room instead of course. <laughs> and not feel guilty for being who I am. And not so guilty and so much things to me. And we're taking up too much space in the room. That masculinity. This masculinity has always been here, no matter what frame you saw it. We need to understand that. We need to help folks understand that. So the first thing that brings us feel like to be a man 
right now, I've always been who I am. I just need to make a couple of changes to make it a little more comfortable for me to navigate this world. But as black trans men, we can also understand not everyone wants that route. And we need to respect our brothers for that too. We need to stand up for reproductive justice. You do that. Uh, this ha I just keep moving. We have to stop. We have to keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Brothers, we have to. Yeah. There are too many of us that are dying, yes. walking dead, yes. the physical body dead, yes. the spiritual body dead. Yes. This thing is layered. Yes. And this Western world will tell you otherwise. Yes. What you need to know is that we've been here. We've been doing this. They'll call it trans today. They call it Nans Gamar. They'll call it anything. What you need to know is who you are. Walk into it. Into it. Walk into it. Breathe it. Smell it. You've always known me who you are. Always. It's tight out here. HIV is real. The money is trickling. We are commodities. It's the, our numbers up next. Our numbers up next. They have us at the tables. Don't be a token. Do not be a token. You have to stand. Just recently, someone said, hey, we would like to do this. I read the contract. It didn't feel right. Because you're getting ready to stack dollars off my words, right. my words. Right. 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 I have to send an email, I'm just going to right. Right. But you know, it could be great opportunity. No. I'm from Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> Different guard, and they're here. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Sit and listen, and you'll see them. Mm -hmm. They're right here. They're all over the place. Sit and listen, and you'll see them. Family, we are charged. It's a new day, it's a new era. Times are critical. Things are shifting and changing. The babies. They're taking the hormone blockers off the break. This struggle right here may not exist for them. But there's still a struggle. Because we're living in a world that only sees either or. Right? So with that, I want to leave you with understanding that you are from legacy, that you are Lotus. And to remember to Lotus. So let us have a moment of silence for those that want to be here 
those that have passed on and given energy for us to be here, and for those that are willing to come here. Ashe. 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 Enjoy the conference.